Iftikhar Ahmed is the director of programs Human Concern International. Joins us now to talk some more about this. Thank you for your time. You have teams operating in the same area where their strike happened. Have you been able to speak to them? Thank you for having me, Mirella. Yes, we have been able to speak to them. Uh, and um, they have been devastated with the news. Uh, and every uh, aid worker uh, worldwide actually uh, is feeling the heat because uh, we have not witnessed any dangerous uh, situation similar to what we are uh, seeing right now in Gaza. Explain a little bit more about what you're hearing from your team, please. It's, uh, Gaza is not safe since October 7th for the local, for the international humanitarian workers. So uh, there is no place safe. No one is, uh, is safe in Gaza. Civilians, the uh, humanitarian aid worker who actually are um, distinguished and visibly uh, uh, pro produce or sorry, uh, presenting themselves to the IDF, the medic, the journalist, and uh, what we are hearing from the team that uh, they are really fearing for their lives. That has been the uh, situation since day one. But uh, when it comes to the World Central Kitchen, uh, we just secured a partnership with them uh, as we have been able to establish four kitchens in Gaza in the different regions since the beginning of Ramadan. So to feed the families at the iftar time. And because we have been receiving demands from our Canadian donors to expand our operations and the outreach, uh, we decided to go ahead and partner with the World Central Kitchen because they have been the lifeline for thousands of uh, Gazans through their food aid uh, program. So they have the knowledge and a little bit more understanding of, of how to operate there, which is why you partnered with them. What happens now to, to the plans to carry out that partnership? Unfortunately, as you mentioned, World Central Kitchen, uh, they have announced that they are pausing their operations. Not only them, we are hearing from the other colleagues also that uh, there are discussions that they are going to be pulling their uh, international teams from Gaza, and that will actually affect the uh, delivery of the aid. As you know, Gaza is in the midst of a famine, and this will actually uh, bring the situation from severe to catastrophic. Uh, as for for HCR, we continue with the delivery of the daily uh, food iftar meals, and we are working also with uh, the Egyptians and Jordanians to secure conveys, which are food trucks, to cross to Gaza. So your teams will carry on? Yes, we are carrying on in our operations. Our teams are local aid workers, uh, so they don't have the privilege to actually exit Gaza and save their lives. It must be difficult, though, to understand the danger they're taking on, the risks they face, seeing what has happened, but also knowing and understanding so many other aid workers have already been killed in this conflict. Yes. Uh, so far, 176 aid workers have been killed uh, in this conflict, and uh, seven people that yesterday were killed also, it's a huge loss to the humanitarian sector and the aid workers. Uh, our teams continue to deliver day after day after day, and we keep checking on them, not to check sometimes on the progress of the operations and the delivery of the aid. We check on them just to hear that we are still alive. Mm -hmm. That's how, you know, difficult and serious the situation is is in Gaza. Do they talk about any sort of agreement or understanding with the IDF about protecting them, about keeping them out of harm's way? So the local teams, they don't have that privilege. But the international uh, humanitarian workers that cross to Gaza, actually for them to cross to Gaza, to be there, there is a process that they must go through. First of all, the uh, NGO would submit the list of names to the IDF uh, and the Israeli authorities. Then when they get the approval, there would be a coordination for the time, the date, the crossing border. In our case, it's the Rafah uh, borders. And when they cross to Gaza, so they housing arrangement and all the movements must be coordinated with the IDF. And that's why for the World Central Kitchen, they were leaving their Balah warehouse where they uh, were successful to uh, secure 100 tons of the uh, relief items that came through the sea from Cyprus. And they were leaving the uh, middle of Gaza to go back to uh, the southern Gaza. So their movement 
were actually coordinated with the IDF. Yeah. So there is no way that this attack wasn't intended because we are seeing now that the NGOs, some of them are pulling out of Gaza, which means the famine is going to strike in the coming few days. Yeah, what a what a complicated and, and terrible situation. Iftikhar Ahmed, thank you for joining us. Thank you for you and your group and what they do, and appreciate you giving us some of your time tonight. Good luck to your crew. Take care.